To look at the beauty of the hills and hollers of the Appalachian Mountains, you would never know that they conceal a hidden hurt. There'll be a chair sitting straight with those metal tees. RAM, Remote Area Medical, built a place to ease that pain. And they came through the night by the thousands from all over the United States. This is Remote Area Medical. We've got lots of volunteers. We've got waiting hours, some waiting days, to finally get in. Who's got number one? Number one. Columbia. Number two. We have been here since Tuesday. Number three. Show us your numbers, please. We've been, they've been just camping out since Tuesday night. It's been here ever since to get the spot one, two, and three. Everybody have their sheets now? At this fairground in Wise, Virginia, the underemployed, the underinsured, and the uninsured have come because for them, this is the only place they have to go. Just like these people, they're farmers, working uh, mines, factories, um, mills, and they're just trying to make ends meet, and there's, they can't afford the health care. They have come because they are in need. I'm just having a lot of pain up in the upper part, and I'm wanting to get everything that's bad out so I don't hurt no more. Okay, yours is 150 over 92. Great. <laughs> is that good? Forcibly retired, no insurance. I have some health insurance, but it doesn't cover everything. For Chris and Paul, it meant sleeping two nights in a car with a baby and a young son. I do without. It ain't that I don't need it. I do without. Remote Area Medical was started by Stan Brock in 1985 to supply emergency medical care to isolated areas of the world, the Amazon, Central America, Africa, and others. But the mission has changed. What's sad about it, really, of course, is that it's required in the first place. But uh, the situation in the United States for many, many years now has been requiring us to concentrate our efforts here in America. Uh, and 64% of all of the programs that we do are now here in the United States. To me, it's hard to believe that in the richest country in the world, there are so many people who don't have health care and need to be in line to get free checkups. The fairground is turned into a complete hospital facility. Doctors from every discipline have volunteered their time and expertise. I'm from this area, so these are people I'd see at a family reunion, some of them. My dad was a coal miner, hard worker, and I've got a lot of common with these people. I just went to dental school and they did. Michelle Toronto, originally from New Jersey, is here with 14 members of her family. I have my sister, my son, my, nie uh, my niece, my daughter-in-law, my in-law. There's another Jersey girl. Uh, he's family. There's a bunch of us. Yeah. It's our assumption that most of us are here to see a dentist. This is always the case. Emergency dental is about 70% of the need. We're going to get our teeth taken out, guys. Laura, her sister-in-law, and her niece all had teeth removed. Uh -huh. We'll try to save as many of your lower teeth as we can. Laura had 10 extractions. Do that as quickly as you can. The doctors at Volunteer wish their services weren't needed, but they know why they are here. They leave here feeling that they have spent 48 hours or 72 hours doing exactly what they went to medical school for, that they were really helping people. And sometimes in the bureaucracy and the red tape of practicing medicine, you don't get to do that. Here, you can do that every day. Many of the people here have no other choice. It's a lot of people, and it keeps on going, and it keeps on growing. And as we finish some, there are more. The purpose of this clinic is to take care of all the, the underserved and the working poor. Um, that in this area that do not have adequate access to health care. And it used to be a small number, and as you can look around, it's exploding. For Laura and her family. So we've been hurting all night. For Chris and Paul and their family. I ain't sleep at all. For Michelle and 14 members of her family, and for about 4,000 others, this clinic in Wise, Virginia is their only access to doctors from one year to the next. I'm always struck by the fact that every patient is very grateful for this. She used to have nicknames for all of us, except... Teddy Bear, all right, that's Snake it. Man. <clears throat> but for me personally, I look forward to the day we don't have to do this anymore. But Laura, the first to arrive this year, is not quite so optimistic. 
see you guys next year. Bye.